my name is Amy. I am a breast cancer survivor. Living in a household of all women, my role for my girls is to show them grit, resilience, and surviving. I was at my annual exam with my gynecologist, and that's where they found my DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. I buried myself. I think that is the stigma of cancer in general. And to be 37 and you're hearing that. So I had a lumpectomy and then I did seven weeks of radiation. And done with treatment and I'm like, okay, moving forward. I would go in every six months, you do your, your vitals and you just make sure everything's okay. I found another doctor. I will never forget my first appointment with her. First thing out of her mouth was, why haven't you been tested? I literally was floored. I just did all this, you know, treatment, surgery every six months, and it was never suggested to be tested. She said, I'm sending you today to go get a test. I found out I carried the BRCA1 mutation. And as we started talking, she said, do you have any history of cancer in your family? My grandma, I remember saying, what happened? They're like, she's got cancer in her stomach. Well, years later, we find out it was breast cancer that traveled. Come to find out my aunt had had uh, pre-cervical cancer cells removed and had a hysterectomy because of this. So this was all starting to come to light, like, wow, this, this is in my family. I'm thinking, I need everything out. It wasn't even about cancer anymore. It was about a whole new world I didn't know. It was almost like a weight off my shoulders when I had a complete hysterectomy, so they took everything. Three months later, I had my double mastectomy. Had I known, I carried the BRCA1 mutation. When I was first diagnosed with cancer, it would have kept me out of seven additional surgeries. Knowing that I have the mutation, knowing what it can do to me and how it can affect my kids makes me stronger to know how I can be proactive for that. Because there is the testing, so that knowledge is powerful because you know what, you do plan around that and you say, I'm gonna take care of me. Then you can set up screenings, you can do something about it too. It's an important lesson for providers and doctors to know like, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And that's why I tell everybody I know, <laughs> go get tested.